police and thieves in the streets. Oh yeah, killing the nation with the guns and ammunition. All right, people. All right, so I want to tell you guys about a pretty good deal. Um, this is the Porter Cable 20 volt half inch impact wrench. Uh, it's got a hog ring. Um, you know, it's a brushed impact wrench. It's been out for probably a year. Um, we'll go over some of the specs again. This is just like a quick look, kind of like an unboxing. I wanted to bring it to you. You guys love these impact wrenches. Um, whenever I kind of see a good deal, um, I kind of grab them, gravitate to them, and like to feature them. So we're going to have a couple, uh, we'll do a couple face-offs, we'll do some stuff like that, and we'll see how uh, the Porter Cable here stacks up. I'm really impressed with the Porter Cable platform, guys. You hear me talk about it a lot. Obviously, Stanley Black & Decker, bought them a while ago, uh, seven, eight years now, and you know, Porter Cable used to be, you know pretty big deal they were you know uh you know a quality brand there um they still are but you know the wall is also owned by stanley black and decker and that's their main commercial tradesman platform and they kind of turned the porter cable into their you know mid-grade type platform but um this is this is definitely something um, that that was a great deal. I hope I'm recording this All right. All right, so yeah, so it was a good deal. Um, real quick, we'll just go over. You got three hundred and thirty max foot pounds. Like I said, a half inch hog ring. Uh, LED light for clear visibility, full variable speed trigger for control. We got some specs here. Tool made in J China, battery cells made in Japan, South Korea, China, Malaysia. Blah, 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 blah. 20 volt, 18 volt really. But 20 volt, half inch hog ring, 330. You got 0 to 1700 RPM and uh, 0 to 2500 impacts per minute uh weight with the battery six pounds not too bad uh this does come with a four amp hour battery and that's what really makes this kit um pretty good pretty awesome i mean for some reason you know like i was just explaining you know porter cable is kind of like their you know their middle grade uh, you know uh platform but their batteries um aren't cheap uh, especially their four amp hour battery um I don't know, one time I was looking to get one, because I do have some Porter Cable stuff, and a lot of the combo kits you get with Porter Cable, you're either going to get the 1.3 amp hour or the 1.5 amp hour battery, uh, which is fine, um, you know, for the impacts and the drills, but I always wanted to get one of these 4 amp hour batteries, just so I can, when I test and kind of put these tools against each other, I have everything equal, because God forbid if something's not equal, man... You guys go bonkers, and we don't want that. So, again, the battery alone, like, to be honest with you, sometimes it's like $100 for one battery. Um, I've seen them for 89 bucks at Lowe's, but they're pretty expensive. So, that was the reason why I got the combo kit. Um, like I said, the link's below, $160. Not bad. You got, obviously, it's just like the wall. You got the three year limited warranty tool only one year of free service and you got 90 day money back and guarantee so i think all you guys are waiting i should have never did that that's why i hate doing it in the live event because i saw all you guys waiting in the um, chat room i don't know how to go go to that so i hope you guys I'm not waiting. You're not going to kill me. There's their 1-800 number if you have any issues. But, again, um, 
Yep, so 9.9 .9 inches. We're going to take her out. We're going to look at her. Maybe we'll take out... You know, this is kind of... You know, when I first got this, I'm like, you know, these guys might like this going up against that rigid. You know, kind of like the same... You know, the Porter cable and the rigid. They're kind of like, oh man, equal. Kind of mid-grade. We're going to put them against each other. So we're going to... We'll take that out. Let me get that out for you. It's uh, real quick. That's all I have. Whoa, we won't want to do that. We're going to be killing the nation with, yeah, guns and ammunition. We'll even grab a rigid 4 amp hour battery. All right, how we like that? Yeah, all right, yeah. Jay Flay. Um, hey, guys, I'm so sorry, man. People, you're going to have to uh, check out the first five minutes. That's why I hate doing that, guys. I know you kind of hate when I just pop on here, but I kind of did like a little, uh, you know, I set up a live event to kind of, you know, get you guys in gear for this foolish nonsense that I'm about to do. But um, when you do that, I don't know how to click to that specific live event. And I saw people in the chat room waiting. And I was over here filming, man. And I had like two people on. But now I see that we got some people on here. But yeah, I went over it. Again, real quick, this is the Porter Cable half inch hog ring. Impact wrench. It's a brushed version. It's a PCC 740LA. Uh, it's in the 20 volt uh, platform of Porter Cable, 18 volt as we know. Uh, you know, you got 330 foot pounds of torque. You got a variable speed trigger with control uh, for control, LED light for clear visibility. Um, talked about the hog ring. Um, it is six pounds with the four amp hour battery that comes with it, and I just talked about it. Um, you know, Porter Cable, we talked about Stanley Black & Decker. They bought Porter Cable ugh, almost 10 years probably now. But, you know, Porter Cable used to be a big, big bang. Used to be like a, a bit, a, ooh, a premium. Yeah, man, I love my Porter Cable. But, you know, obviously Stanley Black & Decker owns the wall. I just said this, so I feel bad for you people who are going to watch this after this and hear me talk about the same thing. But, um, you know, so... Great, it, it, I've loved every Porter Cable tool. I shouldn't say loved, but I've been very happy with the Porter Cable stuff. Um, you know, it's a mid-grade tool, but the reason I'm bringing it up is their, their batteries are crazy expensive, and I just got done talking about it, but, you know, uh, I got a couple of their combo kits. Uh, a lot of their Porter Cable combo kits come with 1.3 amp hour batteries or the 1.5 amp hour batteries. So when I saw a four come with this, uh, like I said, I've seen these for $99 at Lowe's, $89 bucks just for the 4 amp hour battery. Kind of expensive. So, what's up, Ryan? Polly and Drew, Dennis, Robert Matthews, 94 GT, Jason, go Jordan, and Jay Filet. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I saw, when I saw it for 160 I know you guys would like it. Um, yo, is my shirt coming? Yeah, Joey, you should have got there, buddy. I mailed it on Monday. No, I mailed it on Tuesday. I'm sorry. Today's, you should have got it, hopefully today or tomorrow. Please let me know, uh, Joey. I got the tracking and all that if um, we got an issue there. but What's up, Soda Pop 20, Dustin Nurse. Nathan, what up? Yeah, so I know you guys would kind of like this. Billy C, what's up, my brother? Um... Just great. I know you guys love the impact wrenches. And as soon as I saw this, I'm like, you know what? Nice. I know you guys love impact wrench video. I, I, it's my favorite tool is the impact wrench. And I saw it. I'm like, man, we got some good content with this. You know, this thing's been out for like a year. I kind of put it in the background. I was, I knew I was always going to get it at some time. But I didn't want to buy it with a bare tool because I only have the 1.3 amp hour batteries. 
So when I had the four, I jumped on it. Again, Amazon, $160. Um, I'll have the link below at some point, but real great deal. And I figured, you know, let's see what this can do against the rigid. And I have it out just so we can kind of compare the size. Uh, this is six pounds, the Porter cable, with the four amp hour battery. Uh, 0 to 1700 RPM, 0 to 2500 IPM impacts per minute. It's 9.9 .9 inches. Uh, a little big, but we'll see when it comes out. You know, 330 max uh, torque. And um, yeah, J Jason, it's, um, you know, if you're into the Porter Cable platform, and I'd love to, see, I'm, I'm loving that they're coming out with some new stuff. Uh, they got a nice little shop vac coming out. Uh, they got some other stuff. Can't quite remember. They also have a power source, 18 volt power source. Uh, I did a video on it at Home Depot. You can get that in a kit for $249. Actually, at, at Amazon. Um, I know a lot of you guys were actually, you know, commenting that that was a great deal. It really is for a five tool combo kit, $249. Um, like I said in the video, they had the eight tool kit for $329. Now it's like 4.49. I missed it by a day. I was going to do the video. I couldn't get it. They couldn't do it. But, all right, enough yapping because it's been 11 minutes. 12 minutes. And I haven't even opened her up. So, without any... No, it's uh, it's their brushed version. Uh, I mentioned that in the beginning. Again, um, I kind of did the whole intro. And I had to kind of do it again. Because everybody wasn't here. But yes, let's open her up. Oh yeah, they have a new sander out too, Logan. Excellent. Yeah, they got like three or four new uh, tools out. Um, so yeah, I'm excited, man. Um, should be pretty cool. Everything I've gotten from Porter Cable, man. You know, they're 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 DeWalt clones type tools. You know, they got a pretty good warranty. Obviously, you get a three year. Uh, limited warranty, one year of free service with the Porter Cable, just like the wall, and you get that 90 day money back guarantee if you don't like it. So, can't beat that. You can't beat that. And not for nothing, I don't know, and I'm sure you guys can clue me in on it real quick before I open it. Um, I don't know, is it Earthquake? One of the Harbor Freight brands. Um, they have an impact wrench. I don't know the price of it. I know they're big boy. They, uh, they're they big. Uh, I don't know if it does like 700 foot pounds maybe. What is that? Like 249. 94 GT Coupe should know. But um, 249 Jason Jordan. Okay. And then there's another brand. I don't know if it's Chicago Electric. I'm not quite sure. But I think there's like another brand that harbor freight carries and it's kind of like a mid torque impact wrench like this you know 350 foot pounds i want to say it's like a hundred hey joe yeah 250 yeah J jason's my man he always checks i don't know i think it's like 129 bucks or 149 bucks you know i always recommend that ryobi um i think you can get it for 129 dollars right now um it has different settings on it i think it has three Three speed settings, 129. You get a four amp hour battery with it. And you get a, a warranty that's pretty damn awesome. You just go to your Home Depot. I had to use it a couple times. They've been pretty good. Um, just something to consider. Uh, Chicago Electric, I think. And does Bauer. Yeah, I think Bauer has one too, uh, 94. I don't know if they're out yet. I was going to make a trip maybe one day next week and see if they kind of have them i don't know the price structure of uh the new bauer and hercules releases that are coming out but this is definitely something to kind of consider if you're looking at the chicago electric at the earthquake at the uh the bauer or the hercules um strictly for the warranty um the electric one is 40 hundred dollars for the chicago electric okay and what size battery do you get with that that's what i'm saying for another 60 bucks um i don't know how much torque that one has i was there a week ago no new power oh really 
Yeah, you re I really have to, or we have to check it out and see what the torque numbers are on that Chicago Electric for I mean, just something for you guys to consider. And I'm going to make my little thesis um, on this. Hold on one second, people. You can take a look at the original. Uh, uh, It isn't Harbor Freight known for their hand tools, not their power tools. Well, they're getting into the power tool market, Mr. Joey. They're known for cheap Chinese crap. Not That's what they're known for, if you want to know the truth. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. All right. So, yeah, I will definitely compare this to the rigid now. This, um, I got this Home Depot 149 with the 4 amp hour battery it comes with. Um, was a great deal. I don't know if it's going on right now. I think it might be. So this is actually $10 cheaper. And of course, people love the LSA. Now this is the X4. You can get their new X5 brushless impact wrench. Um, I believe it has 450 foot pounds. This one, I believe, has 325. Might have 350. Maybe it tells us on here. I don't think so, but but you got 3,200 impacts per minute uh, with this. Um, with the rigid, you're only getting 2,500 impacts per minute with the Porter cable. I don't know why we're comparing these, but let's do it. it doesn't say anything else on there that is useful. R86010, but it's all about PC right now, man. PC. Yeah, so you open your box up there, man. You open it up, real simple. Get linked, do it. Their nailer is really cheap too. I was thinking about maybe getting that. Yeah, and you know the big thing with uh, Porter Cable, and they got to get their act together, is they got to get their batteries uh, set. Uh, you know they have a one point three, a one point five, a two, and then they have a four. Um, you know. Not that big a deal, but, you know, there's there's platforms with 9 amp hour, 6 amp hour. They really need a 5 or 6 amp hour battery um, to uh, kind of compete a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know, Rigid doesn't have a 3 amp hour battery either, but, you know, they have a 1, a 5, a 1.5, a 2, a 4, a 5. Uh, they have a 6 and a 9 that was supposed to come out last November. And Rigid has a video that they did in, I believe, April. And they said it was going to be out this summer. And it's still not out. The 6 and the 9 amp hour battery. So, obviously, there's some issues with the Rigid Bluetooth 6 and 9 amp hour battery. But we'll talk about that later. I have that. Uh, that circular saw, I love it. I really do. Excellent, lightweight, great for, you know, half inch plywood and 2x4s. Um, and we got these two. I like to get the nail gun now, but all right, all right. We got a little cardboard. We got right there. We got the little PC uh, instruction manual, owner's manual, and a instruction manual. Like I said, uh, four amp hour battery. You got the impact wrench. And you got your charger. It's not. It's one of the cheaper chargers. They've been giving these out with a lot of their kits. Oh, Scott D, you got your shirt today. Love it. Oh, dude, I appreciate that, Scott. I can't believe how great they came out, man. I was absolutely shocked. Um, the the quality of the shirt. Um, you know, I paid extra for that cotton. I don't know. It's like the ultra cotton T-shirt, but um. Yeah, they, they, it just really came out awesome. Um, Joey wanted the orange. I never thought the orange would be so popular. There's like three people that wanted the orange, and they were back ordered, and I didn't want to wait. And I put it on, I got to get it off the website. But we got all the, all the other colors are still there. All right. So let's take her out. But yeah, they've been giving this charger out. Um, I think it was, yeah, the brushed kit 
the impact driver and drill driver with the two batteries. I got it for $99 last year. Unbelievable. No brainer. Actually, no, it was $119. $119 at Lowe's. You got the Edge brushless impact and the brushless drill driver, two batteries. And uh, this was the charger that you got. Um, you know, guys, this is, you know, it's not Makita here. It's not Milwaukee. It's not priced like that. Um, it'll charge what you got to charge. Uh, it'll get the job done. Some people like these. Some people don't, you know, but it is what it is. Um, let's take her out. Ooh, yeah. This is a big... Wow. This looks just like the old... And, you know, it's not hard to see. But this this impact is the old brushed DeWalt um, impact wrench. Uh, might have a little bit more torque. 94 GT. Nice. And if not... Yeah, I'm going to come out with some new ones uh, once I can kind of sell some of these. Uh, I got a lot. I bought a lot of them. I'm going to have one just kind of without, you know, the crazy slogan. But here it is. It's 9.9 .9 inches like we talked. It's, it's not a small impact by any means. Let me take the battery off the rigid to give it a little bit more there. But you can't even stand the rigid up all the way. I'm sorry. So let's just kind of... I mean, that's a big difference, huh? And this rigid isn't really that small. So, but it, it's a big impact, no doubt. No doubt about it. Definitely crazy. Like, whoa. Logan P., uh, $160 for the kit. Um, I have the link under the live event if you're interested. And, like, again, I'll have it um, after the video. But, yeah, 330 foot-pounds. It, it's pretty much a clone of the DeWalt, like I said. Um, but we're going to test it, you know. You know, this was released within the last year. Um... You know, it's not like it's really an old impact. Um, I can tell you this. It's bigger than a Milwaukee High Torque, the new Gen 2, no doubt. That's how big this thing is. And this has 330 foot-pounds. And we know about the Gen 2 Milwaukee 1,000. Fastening and nut-busting at 1,400. Tebow, man, what's up, brother? So, yeah, it is what it is. Um... You know, for people who are in the Porter Cable platform, people who invested in the Porter Cable platform, they needed an impact wrench. And um, I guess Stanley Black & Decker decided, well, we're not going to design a new impact wrench and invest money into the Porter Cable platform. Let's, um, you know, they do need an impact wrench, those Porter Cable people, man. Who got those tools? We, we got to get them something. They're good. They might leave the plat. But the, go grab a DeWalt. See the shelf? Go grab the DeWalt. Get me some gray spray paint. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And, and you know, we'll change up the grip. We got the, like the Kung Fu grip on this. You know, we'll change up the grip a little bit. But yeah, that's what we'll do. So we kind of can shed them up a little bit. So we'll take the six, seven year old DeWalt. And we'll just fancy it up and we'll bring it out as the Porter Cable. And that's fine. I'm kind of having fun and we're joking. But, um, you know, the people in the Porter Cable platform probably have been bitching for years that where is my impact wrench for my platform? And, uh, hey, 330 foot-pounds. This will do everything you need it to do, pretty much, guys. Um, you know, we're all talking about torque these days and how powerful everything is but um you know for 95 percent of the people well we'll say 90 just so i don't aggravate people but you know 200 250 is it's good 
So this has three, you know, and I believe the three flirt. Let's see on that box. This is probably, um, and that's how we're going to test it too. I'm sure maybe reading some, reading some, um, in 2016, it came out. Focus. But yeah, the 330 is probably fastening. So you might get 400 and some change uh, nut busting. So, but we'll see. We're going to see. So we'll put these two to, against each other. We'll do the mid torque with it. We'll have some fun. I want to have some fun. Move my body all night long. Oh, yeah. So, this is my first time looking at a Porter cable. Four amp hour battery. And I'm just like, where is the battery indicator? 2017. Nice. Am I missing it? Where? How much charge? Wait, what's going on here? Where is the battery no. indicator? EJM. Mm. I don't see it. Well, we don't got one. Well, I was just playing. I know it doesn't have one. But, you know, that is, um, you know, I like a lot of their stuff, guys. Uh, and a lot of you guys have commented. I've really never heard some bad stuff about, you know, but. Come on. Uh, Ryobi's been out for years. And they've had a battery indicator on their 4 amp hour battery. You know what I'm saying? Even on their 1.3. You got a battery indicator here. The Harbor Freight stuff. All right, you don't have one on your 2 amp hour battery. You don't have one on your 1.5. No big deal, dude. Um, TiVo got the best job. TiVo's working at the Home Depot. On the tool. Yeah, I don't think so, um, 94. I was going to say that, but I don't think so, bud. And I, what I do like about Porter Cable, if you guys, I love their release of, um, you know, the battery on their tools. It's just such smooth. I love, just boom, it's done. You can do it with one hand. The the light on the impact is on the bottom. That seems to be becoming popular again. Um, you know, a lot of the rigid stuff, they have it up by the anvil, pretty much on every tool, you know, up, up front. This seems to be getting popular again, but I, I love how their batteries, you just click it, and it comes right off. But, yeah, so, you know, getting back to that, you know, come on. You got to have some type of indicator. 2017 here, guys. You know, for a big tool, I mean, this, this is a, a big tool. You know, you got the 4 amp hour battery on it also. Six pounds, it's not that heavy. I mean, it's something that you can easily, you know, use all day. Um, you know, I, I, I still think it's a, it's a good deal. Uh, I'm not happy about some of the things that are in the platform. We all know the disadvantages of the Porter Cable platform. You know, not a lot of tools. The batteries are, you know, you got a 1.5, a 2, 1.3, that's it, you know. Some of their tools are still in the ice age. You know, there's no battery indicator. And even on the batteries, you don't have one yet. The brushless stuff has been uh, coming along uh, pretty good. But you don't compare the Porter Cable to the Makitas, Metabo, Milwaukee, DeWalt, uh, Bosch. It's not priced that way. It's not, it's not that type of platform. So you got to give it a break. But if you like a reliable tool with a good warranty, um, made by a good solid company that's been around for years, uh, again, I want to point out you get the, um, you know, they got a couple different chargers. Uh, you get 
the I don't know what you would call this. It's the let's call it the cheap charger, huh? So you don't get a full, you know, mountable wall mountable um, charger, you, you, and it does the same thing, though, guys. I don't know what the battery, the, the charge times are. Maybe we'll do something like that. That's what M12 batteries need life indicator. Lowe's is going to start sell Craftsman. Yep, we know. That's awesome. Scott D. No fuel get yet. EJ Demon down in Cali. What was the temperature? My my, my boy EJM Demon. He lives in LA. And he's going to put me up in his place. And um, I'm going to shoot some videos in Los Angeles coming up. But it's like 98 degrees or watching the world series and october is the hottest month in california i heard on the news i never knew that man oh ejmd oh he's in san diego i messed it up san diego ain't it like 75 there i thought you said it got really hot there i always thought san diego was 75 to 80 every day no matter what time of year me me, me. hey ariel what's up buddy Jeffrey, what's up, my brother? Thomas Carroll. Yep, very good point, Thomas Carroll. This is, uh, if you have some of the Black & Decker um, stuff, and again, Stanley Black & Decker owned Porter Cable. They owned the wall. That's pretty much what you got here. Uh, but they do have a, uh, right here is one of their, you know, mountable normal type chargers um this is an older one to be honest with you so I, this one might even charge quicker i don't know this isn't i got this probably three years ago uh this this charger i don't know if they i don't know if all their chargers come like this now a uh, few people who are in the porter cable platform please feel free to comment and let me know i, I don't know if this is kind of what they moved into or maybe just with this kit you got this but i know this is a new kit believe it or not this tool has been out close to a year maybe a little bit under maybe a little bit over but this combo kit has been only been out a couple weeks believe it or not uh the impact wrench with the four amp hour battery so it is new um obviously you just saw on the battery you know it was made within the last couple months but anyway so yeah, you know, it is uh, you know, if you're in a port cable platform and you like it and you're in it and you're invested in it, you don't want to leave it. You finally got your impact wrench. Is it a modern, you know, a modern updated impact wrench? No. But whatever you ask this to do, um I think you're going to be able to get it done with this. Um and if you don't, you're if you're really need more than 330 foot pounds of torque you're obviously not going to be in the porter cable platform um so you're probably in the milwaukee's or the makita or the dewalt or the ingersoll rand or snap on whatever so the people that are used are in the porter cable platform this will work just fine um you know there's no battery indicator but i still think for 160 it's a great little kit um is there better buys out there? Absolutely. The uh, the Ryobi, I would buy in a hot second over this. Um, huge, huge platform. Um, you know, you got three speed settings. You got the indicator. You get the four amp hour battery. It's $30 cheaper. Uh, the Rigid, um, for $149, I would recommend it. This thing is, is, is I, I haven't been impressed with it too much. It's not bad. It, it works fine. Um, a little underpowered, but no, it's, it, for one forty nine, you know, I, I would I would buy it over a Porter Cable, only because of the size difference. Um, you know, you obviously get the LSA for what it's worth, and their batteries. You got some indicators on them. It's just um, and it's ten dollars cheaper. I probably would. I don't know. Let, let's leave the rigid alone. I would definitely buy the Ryobi over this, no doubt. But we're going to put these against each other. And I'm going to play with it. I just opened it. You know, this is just an unboxing video, talking, chilling. You know, 
people are going to comment after the video is over. And I'm like, uh, it's a live video, dude. It was not really a review. It was just an unboxing and kind of a, like a hangout. And uh, The specs on the... This is an impact wrench, Thomas. Not an impact driver. Uh, 330 max foot-pounds of torque. 9.9 .9 inches. Uh, it's 6 pounds with the 4 amp hour battery. 0 to 1700 RPM. And 0 to 2500 IPM, I believe. Let's see if I was right. Dead on. Dead on. I'll oh, see you got the hog ring. Let me see, do I get any sockets around? Yeah, I do. Let me just, um, these Tecton. Crap. Tecton. Crap. I know, seen them when I was there. Well, tomorrow, maybe let's do a competition, Joey Gamer. Yeah, I might. I got to finish up that Surge video. I just kind of have to uh, edit it. So, here yeah, we'll throw a little 11 sixteenths on the hog ring. And, you know, these hog rings, they get better over time. But, uh, let's, um, I mean, it's not really a big deal, but let's, um, have some fun. I want to move my body all night long. Yeah. Mm. I got it. Son of a bitch. Deluxe. Deluxe. All right. I want to have some fun. All right, so, yeah, just um, sticking up uh, the old 11 16ths on here. Let's see if we can get her on here, man. This is a huge ant, but before I, I um, put it on, look at the size of that and Well, I got to take it off of that. I just noticed that, man. Wow. Hold on a second. I mean, that is a monster. I'm talking about the, the length of it. Man. Ooh, ooh. So cute. Good to know. Good looking women are still there. A long time ago, that's when I was born. Yeah, so EJ uh, Demon's hooking me up. We're going to, I'm going to be chilling in San Diego. We'll do some live vids from the beach. Um, do a little Q&A, stuff like that. Man, this thing is uh, on there pretty tight here. There we go. It'll loosen over time. Oh, now you hope you didn't even get to see that. Doesn't go too much. Obviously, it's a uh, brushed uh, impact wrench, like I said in the beginning. Um, yeah, you know, 160 bucks. I recommend it. I mean, I don't recommend it. I can't really recommend it, but we will test it out and check it out. And like Joey Gamer said, uh, tomorrow we might do a little competition between these two. If I had a full uh, film crew, I'd be able to do it now. You know, I need somebody. Put that up against the cobalt. Oh, cobalt, cobalt. Everybody wants cobalt. You guys better buy some t-shirts, and then I can get the cobalt, man. I mean, I spent $170 on this PC for you. So, let's do Ha ha boss is my, yeah, but hey, let me tell you, the wife and kids can stay here, I gotta come out to Cali and get some, uh, get some tool videos done, I like the Porter Cable colors, yeah man, Porter Cables, like I said, they were really a solid, and they still are, but, you know, a lot of tradesmen, a lot of, uh, you know, contractors, they were big, 
They ran into some type of financial issues. Um, Porter, uh, Stanley Black and Decker um, gobbled them up. And like I said, you know, kind of like TTI. TTI owns Milwaukee. Um, and then they got Ryobi. So Stanley Black and Decker, you know, much, much bigger company. You know, Porter Cable, uh, Stanley Black and Decker has the wall, Porter Cable, uh, Black and Decker, um, you know, Bostitch. They just got Craftsman. Uh, I don't know if Craftsman, maybe 94 GT Coop knows this. Um, what happens on the beach stays on the beach, you perverts. Um, I don't know if Craftsman's going to continue with there. Now, that was one of, hey, 94G, good question. Now, before I bought this, I was thinking of my man, 94GT. I had the opportunity to get the Craftsman impact wrench. And I was actually also looking at the Ford. Yes, the Ford Motor Company has an impact wrench, but it was like 250 bucks. You know, I want to start featuring some different stuff. Just to break it up, you know, I, I got the Wen impact driver, and we'll we'll have some fun with that. But I was gonna get the Craftsman; it was one twenty nine, but I decided to go to PC. But I don't know if Stanley Black and Decker is gonna continue to make power tools with Craftsman. Um, I'm I'm sure they would, but I'm not sure what their plan is. Obviously, you're gonna have everything that Craftsman is known for. You know, their hand tools. Um, their toolboxes, all that good stuff. You know, their, their power tools sell pretty decent. You know, they also have an outdoor. They make lawn mowers and, you know, all kinds of blowers. I don't know what's going to go on with that part. We talked about that last time, but, um, yeah, so we'll see. So, yeah, we will get, um, the Cobol, I, I don't know what specific tool I'm going to get, but I've been getting a lot of questions and a lot of requests. And again, I'm not a big Lowe's guy, so I don't really know what's going on at, with Cobol. Um, it just is what it is. Unfortunately, um, with me just not being updated on their stuff because I don't really go to Lowe's. Um, yeah, it's a little hard to get them on. Obviously, it'll get better with time. But, um, yeah, we'll get something from Cobalt and, and we'll, we'll, we'll play with it and we'll, we'll put it through. But much bigger tool. And you got to remember, well, I don't have to remember, but, you know, this is the Ryobi. And this is like, I'm sure you guys have it too. I mean, this is just, I use this daily. This is just always out because I'm always, oh. I'm always tightening bolts or something, uh, uh, taking blades off, um, something. So, that, grab this. And again, this does everything I ask it to do. But, this is an old impact. Old. Uh, this thing probably came out in 2012. Maybe 2011. Maybe 2010. You know, they, and it, you know, obviously they updated this. This has 200 max, I believe, 200 foot pounds of torque. Um, and I did a test between these two guys, and this thing's busted, by the way. It, it's if if I really put it up on like you know on my truck, you know my the the uh, the la, uh, the lug nuts, you know 130 foot pounds, I could do one. Then I have to. It won't work. I got to take the battery out, put it back in, and it works. Then I'll take another one off. It'll do it. Then the next one, I got to take the battery out. If something's going on. Uh, the warranty is over. It ended in August. I got screwed, man. Actually, I think I knew about it. No, I think it ended in March. I don't know. Whatever this is. Eighth week. So early February. And it's been like that for a year. I just never did it. Ford tools, yep, just the night. And I th honestly think, I don't know, 94T, I don't know who makes them. I was going to say it was like Craftsman. They look very similar to the Craftsman, but, you know, this is an old tool. I just want to make this point, and then we'll talk later. Um, I might finish my video on the new power source 
Really love that. I just did a video on Instagram. So impressed with that, the new M12 power source. Just for the fact that, you know, you got your baseball games, you, whatever you're doing. I mean, for me, that's what I'm saying. I'm out on my mower. You know, my phone drains, man. I got my, my Howard Stern playing. I got emails. I got phone calls coming in to have that so I can listen to my Stern. To... to to comment back to you guys all day. And I use my phone to know that I have that portable. Bring it on my mower. Boom. It's it's working. I'm charging. I'm listening to Stern. I'm listening to sports radio. And I'm good now. My thing is charged. All I got to do is put that back in my car. Let it charge overnight. All right. But eight years old. Seven to eight years old. To have a new release... A new tool within the last year, guys. I'm saying it's like probably been out like 10 months. To have it this size, I, I, I you know, I think they could have did, um, they could have invested. I, I don't know. And you, you hear that a lot. Why doesn't Stanley Black and Decker really invest in the Porter Cable platform? Um, I don't know. I don't know. But. You'll be fine with this tool. And again, like I said, 160 for the combo kit. The 4 amp hour battery's huge. You know, I, I really got it for that reason and that reason alone. Um, I, I, I'm probably going to review their new shop back. I can't review it with a 1.3 amp hour battery. So, you know, it's 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 taller than the rigid also. Uh, the, the Ryobi has a 1.3, but... You know, it's a big boy. I mean, it has a socket on the end. You can ignore that. Or let me just take it off. Sail away with me. And you see how more up front it is, too. See that? I kind of have them all equal in the back. Just about all equal in the back. And the Rigid and the Ryobi are kind of equal there. Yeah, oh, this battery isn't on all the way. That would help. But, um, oh, yeah, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, I was doing this uh, real quick. And this is for you guys who are still on here. I did uh, some video. I'm, I'm doing the Surge video, and I had the Stealth, man. You know how that, you know, the, uh, the, the, the the stealth force, the pulse driver, you know, when, you, when you're testing it a little bit, you know, all the pulse drivers, I mean, this one isn't like the surge, I mean, night and day, and I, I said that during the surge video, and you're going to see when we do the uh, surge video, just a totally different tool, so much smoother, smaller, compact, but whatever, even on that. I had a two amp hour battery on that Stealth Force, and the battery came off. All the jolting, all the vibration, and the battery, the two amp hour battery came off. Rigid's got some work to do, guys. Um, I'm not saying it has work to do, but I, I hate when people compare the Rigid to the premium brands when it, it's 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 not fair. It's not fair to the platform. It's not priced the same way. And, oh, the Rigid's better than the Milwaukee. Oh, forget the Rigid. Rigid oh, it's a way better deal than the Makita. The Makita, forget it. It doesn't compare. And I'm like, oh, my God, I can't take it. Can't take it. All right, so this is it. I got to go. I might be on later. I might not. But I love you guys. I love you, man. All right, so we're going to do some stuff with this. We'll do lug nuts. We'll do some lag bolts. We'll do some face-offs. Um, we'll have some fun. I got a 08 F-150. Yeah, I'm going to drive that, Edwin. When we, I come out, we're going to go in a desert. And we're going to get like a 6x6 six six and just throw it in the desert. We're going to get some lags. And we're going to bring some tools. Um... No, I'm actually feeling better now, guys. I appreciate it, finally. I mean, it was a good two weeks, man. 
I have an 03 F-150. I, my truck, I, I talked about it. Actually, I was going to get the Chevy. They're, they're not, Dodge is the best. The only thing, and actually this Durango. Whew, what a beautiful car. Beautiful ride. Absolutely blew me away. Because uh, I'm not a big fan of, besides their trucks, I'm, Dodge is this. But uh, their trucks are amazing. Um, but there is some issues, obviously, with rust and stuff. I would love to get a Ford, but my truck, even if, if and we'll put Chevy, like I said in the video, the same things, the, the, the same, um, come on, someone help me out here, man. The same specs, the same, um, I'm thinking of the word. The same stuff that's in it. I'm not going to sit here and try to think. Would be another $10,000. Okay. If I wanted a Chevy or a Ford with, you know, a touchscreen, 5.1 touchscreen, if I wanted the tow package, if I wanted the brake assist, if I wanted, you know, um, a spray in bed liner, add ons. Yeah. It's, I'm no, I know it. it wasn't add ons. What's the word? Add-ons is kind of what I said, but there's a word. Yeah. But, I mean, I think I could have got the Ford, actually, at a, options there. Ryan Jacobs in the house. 94 GT. A little too late. Too late, man. But, yeah, the same options. I think the Ford... And the Ford had a higher price tag, but the Ford was running some sick promo. But still, I mean, I mean 50, freaking $50,000 for a truck, man. The prices are freaking insane. I mean, I got a Ford Ranger in 1997. No, actually, my father got a Ford Ranger in like 1992. Ford Ranger. Okay? Wasn't 4x4. But it was tan, you know, the, the bench seat, Ranger. You had the roll windows, no electric. The car was $10,000. I mean, it was 20 years ago, 25 years ago. 50 freaking, and, and it didn't even have nothing in it, man. I mean, you want a Ford or a Chevy. Um, we're getting off topic here, but you know, we're doing it live, just like the shirts say. It could be, and they could be bought at toolboss44.net. Get yours today. <laughs> but yeah, man, if you want a truck with navigation, leather, I mean, nothing really crazy. I mean, and let me tell you, I have a navigation. I have it in the Durango for a couple weeks. Man, it is awesome. Have a navigate. You know, I always have it on my phone. And it's a pain in the neck. There's texts coming in. There's phone calls. And sometimes it doesn't pick uh It loses. And to have navigation in their car is... It's worth it. I told my... that Well, I'll never get a car without it now. And I'm mad because I just got a truck and it doesn't have it. But you want a truck, man. Four-wheel drive. I won't even say leather. Four by four navigation you know everything obviously electric uh windows ac cd uh, you want that touch screen the backup camera to, you're spending 50 freaking thousand dollars man ej i paid 26 for my 5.4 triton chrome package you bought it new brand new ejm demon ah uh, thanks joey Joey, I threw in a little, little treat for you. He is such a nice mother too. Tell your mom I said hello, Joey. Um, yeah, it, it's oh, you special powers to get around. Mine was thirty-five k for an O three. Yeah, fourteen years ago you paid thirty-five. That's what I'm saying. Obviously, you can get. 
uh, promo. I don't know what they were offering. Maybe five thousand off the sticker. So maybe forty-five grand. But you know, trucks are cool and everything. But you know what kind of car you can get for forty-five grand? I mean, damn. I was looking at the Nissan Maxima. I mean, beautiful car. I'm talking like the SL edition. Just beautiful leather navigation, beautiful car. Like thirty-one thousand dollars, man. Forty, fifty grand. For, I mean, yeah. It's hard. People don't buy cars anymore. I don't think after this Ultima, I'm done with cars. I'll probably get, um, you know, obviously always have a truck, but um, I like those little um, compact SUVs, man. They're great. I like that new Honda. The new Honda CRV, CRZ, whatever the hell, CRV. I want that. All right, guys. The air is a bit more pure. Higher up. Yeah, there we go. Oh nine, when the economy was bad, no one wanted to buy cars. Oh, you did buy it. No, yeah, it was eight years ago. Yeah, remember that when the housing market crashed. Now housing prices now, holy smokes! Let me tell you. People who don't like Trump, I don't, uh, whatever, I don't have any, but let me, this economy, the stock market, and the, price, the housing prices, my God, they went up so much. Um, yeah, it's crazy. I remember that one year, it probably was like 2009, just like Edwin says, houses were dirt. I mean, everybody was foreclosed. So, and this is just my area. I don't know about you, but this area was. Wah. I mean, it came back pretty quick, but I know what he's talking about in 09. And they had, uh, you know, Ford was. Are they going to go bankrupt? Chevy, they went bankrupt. They had to get bailed out by the government. There were my, my one buddy, like he said, he. I don't know what he bought, like uh, the SUV. He bought like a Chevy. Um, their mid-size SUV, I don't know what the hell it's called again. Yeah, the, not the Traverse. I think that's GMC anyway, I don't know. But he bought their uh, mid-grade there. And, uh, dude, he spent, honestly, and this is like, you know, normally it was like a twenty six, twenty eight thousand dollars dollars SUV. You know, it was, it was pretty nice, man. I don't know what they're called, but he, I remember he got it for like fifteen grand. And it was pretty loaded. I don't think it had leather. But, um, yeah, that was a crazy year. All right, guys, we're talking about nonsense here. 58 minutes of just... This thing is... I don't know, yeah, uh, Edwin says he likes the color combination. I mean, there's just something... I, I, I like... I like They're solid tools, guys, but... You know, let's take the Porter Cables, the Rigids, and the Ryobis of the world... And, um, and they could be used, don't, you know, don't get me wrong when I say that, you know, they're not up to Makita's, uh, thing. I'm, I'm not saying that they're not going to work just as good. Again, I go to my father-in-law's, um, you know, he's a contractor, he builds schools and jails and, um, uh, I go over there, man, and, and you got all these, these guys, you know, the, the, the Mexican guys. They got Ryo. The whole thing is Ryobi, man. I mean, you'll see uh, a, a DeWall and a, and a Makita and a Milwaukee mixed in there. But you see this green and you see the blue. You'll see the Ryobi blue. The old school Ryobis just going crazy. So, um, I mean, there can be... Don't get me wrong when I, when I say that. I don't want to give that impression. But, um, you know, you're not going to get the same features you're not going to get to save the same internal components um you know with this you're not gonna besides being 9.9 .9 inches you know you don't have a battery indicator you, you don't get you know the little perks but it's still a great great tool all right yes if you're a true fan of tool uh, i know joey's a great kid man hey oh yeah joey you're from um 
You're from Florida, right? Oh, that's great, man. I hope you guys did good with the hurricanes, man. Scott D. Yeah, there you go, brother. My man in Connecticut. We're going to do a meet and greet, Scott D., one of these days, man. We'll have all you guys come on down. Blue Ryobis were bad. No, I don't think so, man. I My last Blue Ryobi... Actually, I did a video on it at, at one of the, at the beach house there. It's not mine, but it's been at there. It was a impact a drill. Yeah, I mean, you know, they just changed the color, guys. It's they didn't really do anything different. Yeah. All right, people, it's over an hour. I gotta go, man. Love you.